Hello everyone, welcome to Charlene Makes, I'm Lorraine. So this is 100 Days of Christmas. Today is day 59, so this is for day 57 and 59. Um, I did do a little bit of work on my throw. Still have to do something with my ends here. So I'm not sure where I left off. Um, okay, this is the cross double, or the doubled, that crossed double crochet. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me check my notes here, my paper. Okay. Okay. So then this, that's that, makes this the cluster stitch, the seed stitch, and that's as far as I got. So I still have to do the Suzette and the knotted half double crochet. For day 57 will be the rice stitch and a free stitch for day 59. So I did have that headache that for day 57. Um, and then the rest of the time I've been busy. Still have an issue with my head um, from when I fell last month. I got tender spot here. Now around where my eye is, but like right down right down here, right down here, and goes up. I did smack my head when I fell, and it's weird that it's taken this long for it to start to, for that part to hurt. It did hurt the day I did it, of course, and then it just started bothering me about a few days ago, which is weird because like three weeks later, well, well, I don't know. But I don't have any blurred vision or anything like that, so just think that it's just tender. All right, I will link the new stitch tutorials down in the playlist. Um, prayers for uh, Charlene from Charlene's Crochet Corner. She did put out a video. She has, um, I'm trying to remember how to pronounce it now because it's weird, it's spelled Gilliam but it's not pronounced that way. So it's, um, oh, anyway. If you look up, it's Gilliam Barre disease. So what that is where your body attacks the nerves, the covering on the nerves. And so it's uh, an immune, um, illness and uh, there are four or five different types and she thankfully she doesn't have the one that affects her breathing or her heart but um, that is the reason why she's been having the issues with her feet and her arms and and her hands so good thoughts and prayers to Charlene. I will link her channel down in the description box below. Also too, if you haven't noticed, I have been holding all of my comments because I have gotten a few inappropriate comments. I've reported them, but um, I just don't want anybody else to. It's what it is, it's a link a a or comments and I don't want anybody to click on that and have issues with getting a virus or stolen identity or anything like that. So I have reported them, but I am, I think from now on, I'll just hold all my comments just so that you know um, when you, uh, if you only see your comment there or um, only a few, it, that is why. It's because I'm holding them. I try to check every couple of days or so 
and uh, once I approve them, then they show up as published. Okay, so please, by all means, comment all you want. Good thoughts. Um, uh, what do you call that? Um, the criticism, but good criticism. Uh, so, excuse me, I have to burp. I have uh, hiatus hernia and it bothers me sometimes where it just feels like I got pressure there and trying to burp and I don't want to burp on camera. Anyways, um, that's about it. It's really beautiful here. Uh, we have um, 15 degrees, but there is a cool breeze and the breeze is like small gusts because we live in a condo, apartment style condo, and we don't have any breeze. There's no breeze at, at, when, you know, sitting outside on our balcony. But we went and did some running around today and um, I had to pick up stuff for, uh, in prep for my craft show coming up on the 25th of November of this month. So that's another reason why too, um, I haven't done much on my blanket. Uh, I haven't done a craft show for about at least five years. And um, because I'm laid up with wearing the air cast on my foot and using the crutches, my husband is off that day, so he's helping me. I have to put tags on pretty much almost everything, which I don't normally use tags. Uh, so I had to run around and get some tags. I got some wooden crates um, for to stack higher on on my um, table so that my t display is not just flat. Uh, I picked up uh, another bowl and I'm using my bowls. I got a bigger bowl, Christmas uh, one or seasonal for the Christmas season. And I picked up another bowl which is like um, a pedestal bowl. It's not that big, but I plan on using those two bowls for my key rings and my backpack buddies. And um, so that's what I got those for. I We had to go to, so when we left here, I went and pick, stopped at work, my work, Dollar Tree, which is across the street from me, which is great, um, to get some um, tags so I can put on my items. Uh, we didn't have any, they were all sold out. That's where I picked up the bowl, um, which is uh, now our Dollar Trees in Canada had a price increase not all that long ago. So the most anything in any item in the store is $2 plus tax. So I managed, I um, called the other Dollar Tree because we have two in our city. We have a small, and it's a small city, it's not huge. Like we have 65,000 people, I think it is, our population, somewhere around there, um, which is nice and comfortable. The only thing is we don't have all the choices and available for brick and mortar for shopping. So I called our other Dollar Tree and I cleaned them out. So I have no problem with running out of tags. Um, so that was a good thing. So we went there, then we went and filled, got some gas for the car, went and did our little grocery um, errand at our superstore. And uh, they have five wheelchair carts, five. So, which is great. That was the first time I, I, I used the, the um, one of those carts in a long time. But not all the big stores in town here have, um, the carts or they don't have that many. I know the Walmart has like three and most of the time at least two of them are uh, not working. And big box store we have Superstore, Walmart. Um, for groceries we have those two, Sobeys, uh, Safeway, we have one Safeway now because there was two and the one near 
my place uh, closed and um, so in where that was we now have uh, fresh co and where the old Walmart was where I used to work before uh, that is uh, save on foods so that's about it we have um, Michaels and Staples a uh, couple of drug stores and um, we went so we went to uh, after we went to my work we went to the gas bar at the superstore put some gas in the car we went into superstore picked up what we needed to in the grocery store then from there we went to the other uh, mall in our city um, which is where the Michaels is but before I went into Michaels I went we went to um, Yusk it's called I guess J-Y-S-K went in there and I picked I got one wooden crate for to do for my display for the the craft shop or craft market I got one there they were sold out of the medium size but I got a large one which wasn't bad because with the tax it came to to just under twenty dollars and from there we went to the Michaels after going to Timmy's before when we went to uh, to um, that mall and we went to the Michaels I managed to get um, I got my I have one of these this is the clover pom-pom maker the multiple choices the one I had had the small a medium or the large a medium and a small one this one also has the mini now the other day when I was rummaging around in my craft room as much as I could I found this one here do you think I could find it when I went looking for it no so of course so I got so I got the pack because they didn't sell them separately this was all they had so I got this and I also got some black polyfill and they had Michaels in Canada had 30% um, off two regular priced items so uh, that's what I used uh, and all the pot polyfill that I use is machine washable and hyperallergenic 100% polyester last time I went looking for the big bag they didn't have the they didn't have this one here this black they were sold out they were sold out of all the bags the only polyfill that they had was the five pound box so I got that my husband was with me and uh, so I got that last time so this time they still didn't have the polyfill they had one box left at the five pounds which was thirty five dollars and I had when I bought it last week it was forty percent off so I used that coupon the only polyfill they had was the two was this um, smaller bag of the black and it's the only size they carry and they only had two so I got that um, then from Michaels we went to the other Dollar Tree and I cleaned them out of their tags they had um, packs of 60 for dollar fifty plus tax and they had 13, 13 um, packages, so I got that. The ones I got from, from Dollar Tree before were only 30 in a pack for the same price. So this was good, and I know it's a lot of tags. I have a lot of items, but I also didn't want to run short. And we have, um, last week was a craft market in town. And the 25th of this month, there's the one I'm doing. On the 2nd of December, there's another one here in town. And there is also another one that was last week, last weekend. So that's why it's hard to find those tags. So when I called up the one of my coworkers, the assistant managers, and she was working at the other store, 
and because um, my manager looks after both stores for staffing and uh, she she set them aside for me I took all they had so I have lots like I said normally my husband I, I do it all by, by myself but because my husband's helping me and not um, savvy with the prices pricing of things I tag everything so that's why I needed the, all those tags not all of the tags, but I needed a lot. So I did that. We So after we did that, we come home. So we left at 12.30. We finished at 2.30. So two hours was done. Now we're relaxing, kind of. Well, my husband's relaxing. I am icing my ankle. Still wear the air cast. I go on the 4th of December for x-rays. And then I go for follow-up appointment to find out the results of those on the 6th of December and see how, if or how much longer I have to wear that air cast. So that's it. Still using the crutches. I can put weight on my foot, but not a whole lot and not for very long. So that's why I'm using the crutches as well. And both crutches. Um, in the house, I either use one crutch or hobble. If it's really bothering me, I use both crutches. Um, I get room service here, thank goodness for my husband. Um, so it's kind of, yeah, it's funny because 2021, my husband injured his knee and he was the one that was on the bed with, propped up with his foot, his leg up and doing the ice and the brace and uh, and 2019 it was his eyes and this past year um, did he have anything this year I can't remember but it was me this year uh, March I fell they th and they said I didn't break my ankle found out after as I fell the end of March, found out mid-May that, um, yes, I did break my ankle. But, of course, by that time, it was already um, healing or whatever. And um, last month, I rolled over on my ankle bone and broke my ankle. Right on the part, the protruding bone that sticks out. Got a break on there. Tore the ligaments. When the ligaments tore, they also chipped a piece of bone off. Where that bone came from, I don't know, but it's not from this one here. So, that's what's going on with me. And uh, I've been posting on the Facebook group, and like in my Facebook, um, my, what I've done for to get ready, items that I've made for the craft fair. So, I hope I do well. And uh, which I should. Um, I've already now. I show you my little Grinch here. This little guy is sold, so I gotta make some more. So that's my little Grinch. And I love these thumbs. <laughs> Whoops! Gotta move one when his fingers gone. Put you back in the spot. There we go. Look at his thumb. Give him the thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Sold. So like I said, I'll be making some more. I started making a little bear. And this is with the uh, Burnett Velvet or the slim, I'm not sure, but uh, it variegated the feet with the shades of blue. And also gave him a little heart, which is hard to tell. It is hard. This is, it's hard to tell because this part here is dark. It's dark blue. But I just have his arms to do and his head, and then he'll be done. But now I used a three three millimeter hook for this one here uh, or yeah three millimeter I'm going to try and 
do another one with the larger size of uh, three and a half. Um, they'd call for a four, but I like to use a smaller hook. Sorry for the movement here. Now, I'm going to give it a little turn. And so you can see this is what this is what my bed looks like. Because <laughs> I got everything on there. So I got bags my husband brought up from my stock inventory from before. I got my what I'm working on. I got my stuffing over there. I got my bag with some yarns for the new Grinch. I got my my blanket here. And that's it. And my scratch back scratcher. So um, hopefully I can get back before um, today is Monday, so Wednesday I'm not working, so hopefully I can post a video Wednesday for day 61 of the 100, 100 days of Christmas. Okay, so thanks for your time, and until next time, this is Lorraine from Chardelaine Mix saying, don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers. So bye for now.